With the release of the Reservoir Dogs and Brooklyn Bank Heists, LMGs have had a substantial update to their usefulness. Prior to this update, they were often relegated to the Overkill difficulty and required your build to be heavily tailored to their use if trying to play on Mayhem or Deathwish. Seeing that almost no one used an entire class of weapons above Overkill, the devs released a fairly large buff to LMGs and divided them into two categories. The first being low damage, high fire rate, and relatively precise LMGs, and the second being high damage, medium fire rate, and with higher recoil. This divergence of utility between the LMGs helped separate them in a similar way that assault rifles are, and allowed players to choose not necessarily the statistically best, but one that suited their playstyle. The KSP and KSP-58, for example, boast large amounts of ammunition on tap with good handling and a fairly high rate of fire. The Buzzsaw, on the other hand, will trade some of that extra ammo for a dramatic increase in fire rate. The RPK and Brenner offer smaller magazines and a reduced rate of fire, but have much more stopping power. So what is the best, or at least a good way, of utilizing 200 rounds of 5.56 at the tip of your finger? One can look to the real-world application of light machine guns. Generally, one is carried per squad or section, and is designed to lay down a questionably accurate suppressing fire, forcing enemies to take cover, relocate, or even retreat. Using this line of logic, the LMGs can build a pretty clear role amongst the other weapons, and work especially well when partnered up with the Muscle Perk Tech and the Fire Breather Nozzle. This will allow the weapon to panic enemies and force them to stop firing their weapons and relocate, and is amplified by the use of the Fire Breather Nozzle to improve the often forgotten threat statistic. Panic is interesting, as it will not only cause nearby enemies to panic, but will also spread to adjacent enemies, which can create somewhat of a cascading effect. Do keep in mind that this is not indefinite, and enemies that keep getting exposed will build a resistance to this effect, meaning you cannot hold an entire assault wave hostage with the sound of your RPK. For those not wishing to use the Muscle Perk deck, the Silencer skills, the Professional, and Specialized Killing can be used to increase damage and handling, making these weapons not only more precise, but also giving them a much more stopping power. Since the damage increase is in percent, the RPK and Brenner will see the biggest gains considering they are in the high damage tier. Regardless of your playstyle preference, certain skills and equipment can benefit LMGs rather universally. Stable Shot and Steady Grip Aced are both excellent for improving handling without costing too many skill points. Ammo Specialist, Bullet Storm, and Fully Loaded Aced synergize very well with LMGs due to their static nature. Technicians Lock and Load, Surefire, and Body Expertise are practically made for LMGs, especially since getting consistent headshots at long or even medium range can be challenging without the use of a bipod. The extra body damage and armor piercing also allows the weapon to be used more indiscriminately, or to clear rooms or hallways of entrenched enemies. Fire control can also be useful as firing from the hip is how you will often fire, since LMGs have no true aiming down sights mechanic. Heavy impact and shock and awe ace also work well when faced with stubborn enemies. The ability to knock down almost any police unit just by shooting them can significantly reduce the amount of incoming fire that you and your crew take. For equipment, obviously ammo bags are great for those planning on utilizing a static defensive fighting position. Trip mines or Molotov cocktails can work well to secure other entrances outside of your field of fire, making enemies pay for any attempted intrusion in your area of operation. Since you'll be taking mostly technician weapon skills, a submachine gun makes a great complement to these weapons, especially an accurate, high damage one to clear out snipers and other stubborn enemies. RPGs and grenade launchers also work well if you desire to be the heavy weapons member of your crew. When playing with a team, use your large magazine capacity and high damage to cover your crew members while they complete objectives or move loot. Keeping even a small fraction of the assault wave in constant panic while whittling away at these specials and those brave enough to stand up to your torrent of fire can make the heist run much smoother. Mall Crasher can be done rather quickly using an LMG and a grenade or two thanks to it having almost 
seven times the magazine capacity of a traditional SMG or assault rifle, and many heists will often have good positions to deploy a bipod and establish a devastating field of fire. Like with all weapons, don't remain too complacent as you will eventually have to reload and enemies on high difficulties can quickly tack on damage and outpace your armor and health regeneration regardless of what perk deck you use. Personally, my favorite LMGs are the KSP and the RPK. The first for its good all-round stats and having the fastest belt-fed reload out of the entire LMG category. The RPKs, high damage, a variety of mods, and quick reload more than compensate for its smaller magazine size. Comment your favorite LMGs and what skills and equipment you like to run with them. As always, thank you very much for watching, but until next time, happy hunting.